Hi, and welcome to a new B version 2 tutorial. B stands for Best Email Editor. That's not an arrogant statement, it's our goal. We want to build the very best email editor around. In today's tutorial, we are going to make this email we're looking at right now from Banana Republic. Uh, we really like the animated GIF that's central to their email. It's really eye-catching. It's great. We're seeing a lot of GIFs this holiday season um, as email marketers continue to strive to catch the attention of subscribers and do something new and creative and highly visual um, with their emails, which is great. The thing that we noticed right away about Banana Republic's email, though, is that this entire central black component of the message is one image block. So the GIF makes up really the entire email, which isn't a best practice and not what we recommend. We recommend having more of a balance between the images in your email and the text around it. Why? Because your subscribers may have image viewing turned off, so they aren't seeing images, including GIFs, at all in their emails. Also, GIFs can be really large files. They can take a while to load, so again, they might not be seen. They could also be blocked by ad blocking software. They could be distorted on mobile. So we always recommend having a healthier balance and making as much as of your email in HTML as possible. In the B editor, I've recreated much of the Banana Republic email. Uh, but not as an image. So as you can tell, this is just a content block here where I've typed in Sweet Treat. This is an email safe font. This will always show up no matter what. It doesn't have to be in an image or not. Um, and it looks pretty close to the Banana Republic email. What we've done from there is actually cropped the Banana Republic GIF so that it's smaller. I just used easygif.com to crop out this area in the middle um, that has motion. And that's the part that we're going to use as an image in B. Um, the great thing about GIFs is they can be uploaded just like any other images. So here we have a content block that's a placeholder for an image. And all I need to do is drag in my file. And there we are. Looks pretty good. As a final tweak to this email, I'm going to adjust the padding a little bit. As we can see in the Banana Republic email, there's a little bit of um, spacing above and below this online only section. And that's easy to adjust in B. If I go ahead and click on that content block, navigate to the right, we can actually adjust the padding uh, by side. So I'm going to bump up the top bump up the bottom. And you can really do that with any content block. Um, lastly, we'll want to link the image. So we go to the same landing page as we would with the Banana Republic email. And we can do the same with our call to action button. This is a bulletproof button, which means it's not an image. And it will always appear across mobile devices, across email clients. Awesome. So we're all set. We can also preview our email to see how it will look. Here it is on desktop and mobile. 